Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. For the appetizer this time, we go to Austria. Günter Gadebauer presents canel of smoked trout tartare with sour cream, lemon juice, and fresh dill with horseradish sauce. Then the entree is cooked in Dublin, Ireland. John Howard offers boned quail stuffed with cabbage and foie gras wrapped in bacon, served with sausage and mushrooms. Finally, dessert is done in Cannes in the south of France. Francis Chaveau combines pink praline cracknail biscuit with a variety of fresh fruit scented with licorice. Bad Ischl is a town situated in the mountainous lakes region of central Austria. Nearby is Villa Schrott, best known as the summer residence of Austria's last emperor. Also, it's become known for the cuisine of Günter Gadebauer's two-toke Gomio restaurant. Here is smoked fish tartar. The chef begins with two trout, which have been first marinated for a day in salt, pepper, and juniper, and then smoked for an hour. Die werden wir als erstes filieren und wie das funktioniert, machen wir jetzt vor. The trout are filleted. After heading, an incision is made along the backbone. The first fillet is easily separated. Dann wird am Rücken entlang eingeschnitten, nur die Haut einschneiden. Hinten eben auch. Und schon kann man den Saibling nehmen an der Schwanzflosse und eben die eine Seite schon abnehmen. Und Sie sehen die Flosse und nehmen die Gräten dann schön heraus. The bones are pulled from the second fillet. Das war jetzt das grobe Filieren. Jetzt nehmen wir noch uh, dann die einzelnen Gräten, werden wir jetzt kontrollieren, ob hier noch... The chef checks for any remaining bones. Schneiden die Flossen weg. The fins are trimmed from the fillets. So, das gleiche noch mit dem anderen Filet. The skin is removed. So, die Saiblinge sind filiert. Jetzt gehen wir über zum äh, Fertigen des äh, Tatars. Wir nehmen die Saiblinge auf das Brett und werden sie jetzt... The cleaned trout fillets are minced. ...zusammenhacken. Sie sehen, man braucht nur einmal äh, drüber schneiden und schon ist der Saibling klein genug. Das Fleisch ist so weich, es zerfällt dann, wenn man schon einmal fein. So, dann nehmen wir eine Schüssel, geben die Saiblinge da hinein.
die Saiblinge, wenn sie jetzt in der Schüssel so drinnen sind, The trout is seasoned with fresh ground pepper, salt and freshly squeezed lemon juice. Pfeffer aus der Mühle. Etwas Salz. Dann Zitrone. Natürlich nur den Saft ohne Kerne. Sour cream is combined with the trout. Wir sehen hier ungefähr zwei bis drei Esslöffel voll. So, wir werden das Ganze einmal durchrühren. Sehr vorsichtig. Fresh dill will be picked, chopped and added to the trout. Den Dill einfach nur nehmen. Nur die schönen Dillzweige davon, die dicken Äste des Dills, die geben wir weg. So. Geben ihn dazu. Und noch einmal durchrühren. The horseradish sauce begins by combining sour cream, salt, fresh lemon juice and ground white pepper. Salz. Dann Zitronensaft. Und noch weißen Pfeffer. Das Ganze werden wir noch einmal verrühren. Fresh horseradish is grated and then minced. Dass man hinterher nur das Aroma und die Schärfe hat und nicht große Trennstücke. Einziges Problem dabei, man muss vielleicht ab und zu etwas weinen. The minced horseradish is mixed with the sour cream mixture. So, wenn der Creme jetzt drinnen ist, nochmal durchrühren. Und das werden wir jetzt zu äh, den Tatar am Teller mitservieren. Werden wir in Nockel formen. Canals of Tartar are formed and placed on the plate for presentation. Salat schön zusammendrehen, den Stiel weg und dann kann man eine schöne, schöne Salatrose hier draufsetzen. John Howard was born in County Clare in Ireland and got early training in Switzerland, London and France. In 1977, he became chef patron at Le Coq Hardy in Dublin. He describes his cooking as classic French, using the best of Irish product with a light touch. The entree is stuffed quail. This dish I'm going to do now is it's a pot roast quail stuffed with cabbage and foie gras wrapped in bacon. And pot roasted. We serve this with Toulouse sausage, a sauce of wild mushrooms with a cognac and port wine jus. 
Now, these quail that I'm using here, they're, they're already boned. We buy them already boned. I mean, I, I think that's not a problem for anybody now. Reshape the quail back in its original state. Thin the bacon out slightly just to get a bigger cover of the whole board rather than having to use too much, too rashes, which would be too much bacon. There we are, fold it over. The purpose of the bacon really is to two things, one to keep the thing together and the other to give it a nice flavour. There we have it. There we have our quail and two loose sausage. Now, we get re this ready for the oven. And a little seasoning. Not too much seasoning for this particular bacon because it's quite salty already. Some black pepper. in the hot pan which we have it, little olive oil and it's ready for the oven. This will take about 35, 25 to 35 minutes depending on the type of oven which you use. Again you would cook with it 170-175 degrees. That's around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The quail and sausage are done in about a half an hour. The fat is drained and mushrooms are added to the pan. Port wine, cognac, and veal stock are added. It's a Tulu sausage. It's a, a spicy sausage from from the from Toulouse. It's a pork sausage, but they, they marinate the, the meat in in herbs and spices beforehand. I mean, really, you can use any pork sausage. There we have it, hot roast quail with two loose sausage, serve with 
wild mushrooms, cognac and port wine jus. La Belle Otero at the Carlton Casino Club in the Hotel Carlton offers the two-star Michelin cuisine of Francis Chaveau. His early career was spent mostly in his native France, with a stint in Mexico and in Zaire, where he opened the World Trade Center. His dessert is praline cookies with fruit. The chef will begin with the cookies, which are essentially the very thin and delicate tweel cookies. He will begin the batter with 75 grams of softened butter, 75 grams of powdered sugar, three egg whites, and 75 grams of sifted flour. Voilà. Donc, je vais disposer le beurre en pommade dans un saladier. de travailler afin de le mettre en consistance. This process is usually done in an electric mixer, but the chef will do it, in fact will do all mixing for this dessert by hand. Voilà, il faut il faut l'avoir bien bien souple le beurre, hein, je dirais pour cette cette préparation. Voici. Je vais incorporer le sucre glace. Voici. Et les trois blancs d'œufs, mais par petite quantité. Hein. Autrement, notre appareil va trancher. Egg whites are added a little at a time. The sifted flour is also added gradually. Voilà notre appareil à craquelin terminé. The finished batter rests for 20 to 30 minutes. The pastry cream is started with milk and a scraped vanilla bean. Afin de la débarrasser de leur de leurs graines comme ceci et laisser la la gousse dans la. Nous portons le lait à ébullition. It goes over heat and is brought to the boil. Meanwhile, egg yolks and sugar are combined and will be beaten until pale yellow. Bien le travailler afin de le blanchir. Nous ayons un, mel un mélange bien bien souple. Travailler au fouet. Et on travaille toujours le, le sucre avec les jaunes d'œufs afin de le blanchir. Voici. Nous allons ajouter la farine tamisée. This is sifted flour. Bien mélangé. The hot milk is tempered into the yolk mixture, then we'll go back on to the heat. Stirring constantly back and forth on the flat top, the chef carefully cooks this mixture for several minutes. He wants to cook out the taste of the flour and thicken it. Tout en le remuant délicatement en permanence. 
After the correct consistency is achieved, the mixture is transferred to another bowl and cooled. Meanwhile, the rested cookie dough is thinly spread on a buttered baking sheet. Afin de former des, des genres de petites gouttelettes. Hein. The cookies are sprinkled with strong flavored green anise seed and crushed pink praline. Broyer également. The cookies are baked at 350 until brown but flexible. Then they are shaped. Sans vraiment donner de forme, mais de façon à ce qu'on ait quelque chose, je dirais, d'assez. Une forme assez élancée, un petit peu en vrille. The final process for the pastry cream is to fold whipped cream into the cooled mixture. La crème fouettée, la crème pâtissière à la crème fouettée, je dirais. The dessert is presented with a bounty of fresh fruits. Quelques murs. Quelques framboises. The cookies will finish presentation.